Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, this is the continuation session of a graphics in C language. In the last session, we have seen some of the examples how to write a graphics programming, and in this session, we will see some more examples. So, all these examples just based on your thinking and your logical experience only. So, here now in this program, I just want to print like this. Here it is on the screen. This is the screen consider. I just want to represent, uh, represent in a pixels. So, anyway screen we are representing in a pixels only 100, 200, 300, 400 so like that and here it is in a vertical direction also 100, 200, 300, 400 so like that we are representing. Now intersection points are present these are the intersection points consider whenever we combine x coordinate and y coordinate values x coordinate and y coordinate values at intersection point I just want to draw circles I just want to draw circles and these are the circles consider these are the circles with a constant radius so because so next next one should intersect this one and next one like this it should intersect with the previous one and next one like this and total and of course here it is showing like a parallelogram I mean uh, like oval and here it is these are the round circles and next one so like this right all the 16 circles should intersect intersect this is and here it is this total space 100 and between 100 and 200 100 pixels are there so here radius should be 50 left side is a 50 right side is a 50 radius of the circle is a 50 but now here it is a coordinates very very important x coordinate is a 100 y coordinate is a 100 next x coordinate is a 200 y coordinate is a 100 x coordinate is a 300 y coordinate is a 100 x coordinate is a 400 y coordinate is a 100 nothing but here it is a coordinates increasing x coordinates once first line is over next to second line next third line like that here we are using two for loops in a programming two for loops so because in a patterns printing already we discussed right in a in a two for loops outer loop always represents a number of rows and inner loop always represents a number of columns number of columns here it is here it is suppose i am declaring two variables x comma y i am repeating two for loops directly with the coordinates of x and y only for loop inside one more for loop inside one more for loop here it is coordinates directly i am writing with the 100 multiples to write the logic very easily x coordinate is less than or equals to 100 and next one x is equals to x plus 100 or simply we can write compound assignment operator x plus is equals to 100 also and next one here it is y equals to 100 y is less than or equals to 100 here it is a coordinate so 400 no? 400 and 400 400 and next one y is equals to y plus 100 y is equals to y plus 100 this is and next here i want to print the circle suppose if you do not want to set any color right all the circles it will print in white color only or if you want to set colors suppose here it is a set background that is bk color bk color is a cyan color and next one set foreground color is a red color is a red color now circle with the x y coordinates x y coordinates and uh, with the radius is a 50 with the radius 50 and here it is x value x coordinate is increasing first here it is y coordinate increases whenever x value is a 100 y value 100 200 300 400 that means so first it will print vertical bar vertical i'll show you suppose it is only one iteration now look at this how it prints exactly it will print all the four circles in a vertical direction not in a horizontal direction first if you want to print in a horizontal direction horizontal here it is we need to write a y y first 
and next one x next. Now, it is printing horizontally 4, 4 circles it is printing right. Suppose, if you want to print 5 circles, 5 circles up to 500, 500 suppose it is a 200, 2 rows it will print, 2 rows look at this 5, 5 circles, 2 rows it will print ok and if you want to print 4 rows, 4 rows just 4, 400 is just compile and run it will print 4 rows with the 5, 5 circles it will print 4 rows this is how to display circles and next one next one I want to print the information in a vertical direction in a set text style already we have seen set text style. Now, I want to print 5 different messages in 5 different colors in 5 different locations locations x coordinate y coordinate 2 variables next for color for repeating the loop 1 and here it is i value for loop we are repeating for loop here it is i value starts with a 0 i is less than 6 i plus plus so i is less than 5 so total 5 colors 5 fonts are there now i want to set color set color color i value we can't pass because i is 0 initially that 0 is representing black color so with the black color we can't print any message on the black background so it is better to write i plus 1 because 0 plus 1 is representing 1 that is representing blue color next some of the characteristics set text style set text style the first font we need to set yes font is a i font i font means what is 0 1 2 3 4 like that and next followed by direction I want to write vertical direction vertical direction and next one I am writing the font size suppose we are giving the size is 3 and with the help of that we are printing the message out text x y coordinates very very important x coordinate y coordinate any message Naresh I T is a message just consider now here out text x y initially x coordinate value is a 100 and y coordinate value is a 50 vertical direction so instead of increasing y coordinate i want to increase x coordinate by 100 x is equals to x plus 100 every time i value is increasing nothing but color we are changing next uh, in the set is text style i value we are using to set the font so different fonts different colors different locations in a vertical direction it will print the message look at the output this is how to print different messages in different locations if you want to increase the size suppose here it is a size i am giving 5 size i am giving 5 this is compile and run compile and run see this is in a vertical direction in five different locations with the five different font types and with the five different colors it is printing the message this is how to print messages vertically this is the one and next one next one if you want to execute some logic continuously as long as you press the key then here it is in a co nio dot h library in header file one method is there method name is a kb hit one method is there this is very very important method used to execute the application such type of screen servers and all how we will see here it is description checks for the recent keystrokes kb hit if keystroke is available then kb hit returns a non zero integer non zero means what any value right zero is a false value non zero means it returns a true value then how to write the program means how to write the program suppose hash include 
hash include stdio.h next hash include hash include it is available in a conio.h next in the main method main method i am writing this logic kb hit function i am writing inside the while loop kb hit kb hit function we are calling if it is returning 0 when it will return 0 if you are not pressing any key if you press any key so what it will return what it will return means write a positive value or a negative value a non zero value it will return if you are not pressing any key then it will return zero so here it is zero equals to zero if you are not pressing any key imagine it returns zero then condition true then inside we are printing one message press any key press any key to stop this loop clearly we are writing the message or else continuously this loop will execute until you press the key then it will execute ok and whenever you press the key it returns a non zero value non zero value is equals to zero is a condition check definitely condition has failed then it will stop printing see continuously it is executing suppose i am pressing one key see now it stops again i am executing this one it is executing i am pressing the key then it will stop right generally if you look at the screen savers in your mobile and everywhere right if you are not using your device then the screen saver will enable and it will execute continuously when it will stop it will not stop on any condition and it will not stop whenever it reaches a particular uh, limit screen saver will stop automatically whenever you touch your design uh, device or you press any key on your device so if you want to develop such type of screen savers we should go for this kb hit if you want to execute any logic as long as they press the key then we should go for this kb hit function okay that's it so this is so all about uh, graphics programs basic graphics programs in the next session we will discuss how to develop a small screen servers and how to develop basic gaming programming related logics and all ok so thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you thank you all